I'm supposed to be on vacation, but it's not working out that way. So here goes nothing. This is Wednesday, August the 8th, and this is The Wholehearted Christian. Okay, so today I have a uh, request from one of my Facebook followers, and the topic will be children obey your parents. We'll be coming from Ephesians chapter 6. This is part of a letter that Paul wrote to the church of Ephesus, and we'll be learning out of this passage today, verses 1 through 4. All right, verse 1 says, children obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right, honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and that thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, mothers as well, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Okay, so let's start with verse 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Okay, what does it mean for the children to obey their parents in the Lord? What the Bible is saying here is that children, we should obey our parents as they are our representatives from God. Uh, children are a gift from God to the parents, and so they are our representatives of God. So then we should listen to them and honor them and do what they say, because that is the right thing to do. All right. So we move on to uh, verse two. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise. Verse three, that it may be well with thee and thou mayest live long on the earth. So that is the promise. Honor thy father and thy mother. Why? Because if you do this, then you will you you will get the promise that you will live long, you will have a long life, and things will go well with you on the earth. So let's not let's not get that misconstrued, saying that everything is going to be okay in life because you honor your parents. But what that is saying is that the blessings of God will follow you if you honor your parents, if you do what your parents say, if you respect your parents, if you uh, um, honor them and you know, esteem them as your superiors and respect them as such and just treat them how God expects you to treat them, then God will bless you and his blessings will follow you in everything that you do and wherever you go, you will be blessed because you respect and honor your parents. That is a promise from God. All right, let's go to verse four. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So then, just as the children are told to respect and honor, follow the lead of their parents. Stay in your place, child. And not just children as in small children. Even we, when we grow up, even when we get older, we still are to respect, honor, and stay in the place of the, the child. Stay in the place that you don't become the parent. You are not over your parent. You are still their child. They are still your mother or father. But it also tells us now, as the fathers and the mothers of the children, that we are supposed to deal with them in a responsible way. God didn't give us slaves. He didn't give us um, do boys or do girls. We have children as a gift from God. So then we are supposed to deal responsibly with them as well. So we shouldn't put all sorts of demands and rules and different kind of things and hang them over the head of our children just because we're the parent and God put us in charge that we can treat our children any kind of way. That is not what we're supposed to do. The Bible says we are supposed to teach them the right way. Teach them the way that they should go and when they get old, they won't depart from it. Treat your children right. Treat them respectfully. Train them up in the way that they should go and then they will learn. And then they will teach that to their children to be responsible adults, to be respectful adults, to be honorable adults. But we must first show them the, the, the blueprint 
of being honorable and respectful by showing them that we are honorable and worthy of their respect and their honor. So us parents, we have to have a job to do to show our children the right way. And we must lead by example. And it says, raise them up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. So we have to raise our children not only to respect us and to mind us, but to respect God and to honor God. So then we teach our children when you go to church, you don't dress any kind of way. Your, sh your, your skirt shouldn't be too short or your shirt shouldn't be showing too much. And for the men, we should dress like men. Our pants shouldn't be too tight. Our pants shouldn't be too short. Uh, we should wear things that are pertaining and respectful. No hats on, on in the house of God for men. We need to do these things and teach these things to our children. And in all things, even in the home, respect the word of God. When you do make rules in your house, make rules that are pertaining to the word of God that would lead your children to respect God and not push them away from God. Don't put all sorts of meaningless and 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 and, and harsh rules and restrictions on your children that push them away from God because then you've done no good as a parent and you have not done any good to God. If you use your rules and restrictions and they push your child away from God instead of to God. So we have to remember this. Children, honor, respect, and obey your parents. Parents, honor, respect, and deal responsibly with your children. It's a two-way street. You can't just have one way. It's two ways. Respect gives respect. Respect earns respect. You get it? Got it? Good. God bless you.